What's going on guys welcome back to another POCO F1 video and in today's video we are going to be making our POCO F1 into a completely Xiaomi Mi 8. Now this is nothing for your daily use there are too many bugs over here I mean not too many bugs but there are some major bugs such as sound and camera over here which doesn't make it as usable as for daily driver as if right now. So once that gets fixed I will make a separate video or I will just let you guys know in the comment section below the comment will be pinned but as if right now this is only used if you are a developer if you don't have the budget to buy Mi 8 or or just don't want to import a meat into your country you can flash this on your poco and just experience the meat so for example as you can see right now i'm running the latest global beta android pi which was released for me at last night and it just works flawless on this thing i mean it's just butter smooth and there is no ghost touch issue and then again the screen bleeding yeah it's not as bad as the stock rom i don't know why because of the stock roms like the whitish theme more I don't know why but it's a bit better on this thing and then again it's just butter smooth and let's just go to the settings again about phone model number Mi 8 Android version 9 PKQ1 so that's a newer build I guess but as you can see latest and the greatest and then again I had made a complete review of this thing like two days back so if you want to check it just press the i button over here and then let's just begin to the installation so the prerequisites over here are a bit of a brain in installing custom roms and just a pc and a unlocked bootloader now unlocking bootloader is nothing like big issue on this thing cause it only requires 72 hours and that's pretty great when compared to the 360 hours time limit or even like more on some xiaomi devices cause i just recently talked to a mi developer about this unlocking bootloader issue and the way he just explained to me it's not an issue it's probably the best thing that they could do rather than just completely removing the bootloader unlock just like Huawei devices so yeah I completely agree with him and I don't have any problem yeah I had to wait 360 hours for both of my Redmi Note 5 and Note 5 Pro and then again 72 but at a company standpoint it's probably the best thing that they could do so yeah let's just hop onto your PC so once you're onto your PC you would need these six files yes the adb folder, the updated script, the updated script for android pi, disable force encryption, the mi8 rom that you want to convert and the top recovery. So let's just get started. So first of all just grab your mi8 rom. Such as two days ago I just showed you guys the china beta rom based on android pi. Then again earlier in this video I showed you guys the global beta based on android pi. So we would be flashing mi 10 stable china over here on our poco f1 cause yeah it's a bit more stabler as it says in the name. So let's just begin. So first of all go to meta inf com google android and just delete the updater script yeah just delete it now once the script has been deleted you have to actually replace the one which is made for the poco f1 so there will be two updater scripts the updater script android p and updater script just updater script so yeah we would be choosing updater script as the mo10 china stable is based on android 8.1 so let's just open it and then just extract it out just like this now this is already ready but as Mi 8 kind of contains anti-rollback protection yes the Mi 8, Redmi Note 5 Pro, Redmi 6 Pro, Mi Max 3, Mi 6X all have anti-rollback protection and as I personally use this ROM I had no issue with anti-rollback just being installed on my Poco F1 we just don't want to take risk with our 20,000 beast so just grab any kind of text editor such as Notepad++ would be the best one so let's just drag it over here and open it and you have to just delete these lines from hashtag radio update tasks just uh, drag it down until the last line of firmware update last one would be the hyp or hype img just backspace it over here and it should be mere 13 lines save it and just do the same for the android pi script now the android pi script would be a bit different for example let me just open it over here as you can see some of the lines have been shifted so again just go to hashtag radio update tasks and just drag it down until the second last line which would be the hyp img one and you will be okay the anti-rollback has been completely removed so let's just copy the newer updated script inside the mi8 rom just like this click ok now once the script has been copied our mi8 rom is ready to use with our poco f1 now let's just install a custom recovery on our poco f1 so just grab your poco and hold on your power and volume down at the same time just what to do it in order to go to fast mode while unlocking your phone and as you have just unlocked your phone i guess you have taken a whole backup of your phone cause we would be wiping it in order to remove the stupid encryption of MIUI so just connect the phone to your PC go to the ADB folder open CMD and type in fast boot devices just like that our device has been successfully connected then type in fast boot lash recovery and then just drag the top recovery cause the code name of this phone is a bit weird like beryllium I don't know just drag the recovery and hit enter 
Okay, the recovery has been successfully flashed. Now just go to the phone and hold on your power and volume up in order to go to the custom recovery. Now once your phone is into the recovery, just go to wipe, format data, type in yes. This would remove the encryption, so hit enter. There you go, the data has been successfully decrypted. Then go to again wipe, advanced wipe, dial away cache system data. This would remove the MOUI for POCO. Now just go to your PC again, just close this ADB folder, go to this PC, go to POCO F1 and just drag these two files which would be the converted ROM and disable force encryption. Once both of the files have been copied, just go to install, select the Mi8 ROM that you converted, add more zips, disable force encryption, confirm to flash. Once both of the zips has been installed, just go to reboot system and do not install. As you can see, the MI logo is now showing as booting, but most likely on first boot, it won't boot. So just wait for one to two minutes. If it doesn't boot at all, just hold on your power button for 10 seconds and it will force reboot. That surely helps. There you go. Just force reboot it like that. And just after a minute, the phone is back up and I'm extremely sorry if there's any kind of background noise. I can't help. It's Ganesh Chaturthi. People are going to celebrate. So yeah, let's just go ahead and complete the setup. If you just noticed over here at the bottom, yeah, as you can see the screen bleeding, it's not as bad as people have actually posted on XDA. Like I would be just crying if I just found out after buying this Poco F1 as a daily driver. Now the thing with the China stable ROM is, yeah, it has almost same bugs, but still the camera works, yes. Surprisingly, the camera just doesn't work on Android Pie, but on Android 8.1, the camera works. As you can see, there is a whole lot of delay over there, but yeah, almost all the functions work, such as the video recording and stuff. But if you go to the portrait mode, the camera app will just mess up. So just jump around there, go to square, and you can also use your normal Google camera that you find on your Poco F1, just suitable cost. This is actually Android 8.1, of course. So just enable camera API too, and you would be okay. Again, the front camera is fully working, as you can see. Square, then the portrait mode for the front camera is also working. The studio lighting nah it just doesn't work as you can see the option just also disappears that actually makes the portrait camera on the rear crash like you can just go to the portrait camera and just camera can't connect error because yeah the second sensor is not as same as the Mi 8 and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can turn your Poco F1 into your Mi 8 I hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this helpful please drop a like subscribe down there for more Poco F1 videos and see you guys in the next one peace